A constructive approach to essence alpha state sequencing focuses on anticipation and avoidance of known common problems encountered in software engineering projects. Using the preferred sequence of alpha states as a staged ordered ba baseline, this constructive approach to effectiveness analysis provides the means to detect root causes for common problems even before measurements are taken. Effective sequencing of alpha states hinges on the known effects of incomplete predecessor states on downstream successor states not yet begun or in progress. Essence uh, alpha state stage sequencing presents a dynamic operational view useful in analyzing effectiveness and anticipating and avoiding risk leading to stakeholder dissatisfaction and technical debt systematic rules of construction for tracing alpha state sequencing and reasoning about their state alignment assist in this effectiveness analysis, even pinpointing the major milestones that serve as consequential markers of success and the risk triggers that threaten success and lead to the accumulation of technical debt. Whether you establish criteria at the beginning of a project or not at all, there exists industrial strength objective criteria for learning the status of a project and pointing the way forward. These criteria can be found in the Software Engineering Method and Theory, CMAT, formulation, and its essence kernel. The essence and common ground of software engineering and a major Object Management Group OMG Standards Process. The customer space is framed by a stakeholder shared vision for a well-conceived value proposition for the opportunity with convincing and consequential outcomes. The solution is bounded by stakeholder agreed to requirements and user stories and a software system architecture that facilitates a usable and operational software product. The endeavor's work is performed by a well-selected and ready team and a way of working based on established principles and foundations. Simple yet powerful, these sensible alphas and their natural states of progression are actually very useful in guiding a project on its way and in guiding a software industry that has lost its way. More specifically, the alphas and their sequential states include number one, stakeholder, recognized, represented, involved, in agreement, satisfied with deployment, satisfied in use. Number two, opportunity, identified, software needed, value established, viable, addressed, benefit accrued. Number three, requirements, conceived, bounded, coherent, acceptable, addressed, fulfilled. Number four, software system, architecture selected, demonstrable, usable, ready, operational, retired. Number five, team, selected, formed, collaborating, performing, adjourned. Number six, way of working, principles established, foundations established, in use, in place, working well, retired. Number seven, work, initiated, prepared, started, under control, concluded, closed. As the twig is bent, so grows the tree. So to get your project off on the right foot, expectations should be set and evidence should be sought on the following assertions and principles based on the following alpha state checkpoints. Number one, stakeholders are in agreement and share a vision for the project. Number two, an opportunity value proposition has been established and there is stakeholder shared vision for achieving it. Number three, requirements or user stories are coherent and acceptable, 
and there is stakeholder shared vision for them. Number four, the software system architecture is selected and comprises a domain-specific architecture to guide software system implementation. And the software system implementation is made ready and operational with no technical debt. Number five, the team operates in collaboration, uh, shares a vision for the project, and is ready to perform uh, with respect to shared vision, software engineering process, software project management, software product engineering, operations support, and domain-specific architecture processes, methods, and tools. Number six, the way of working by the team has established foundations for software engineering process, software project management, software product engineering, and operations support. The way, uh, the, number seven, the work is started only when all is prepared, including coherent requirements and acceptable user stories, stakeholders in agreement, and an established foundation for the way of working. Number eight, all work products are prepared and inspected in accordance with a defined standard of excellence, assuring completeness, correctness, and consistency. Sequencing alpha states in practice in accordance with an ordered baseline of states provides the means to detect root causes even before measurements are taken. Simply put, the focus here is on anticipation and avoidance. It is against this backdrop of expectations derived from these assertions and principles of alpha state checkpoints that our discussion of risk embarks. A real demonstration of thinking in a systems framework uh, would be to set forth a systematic approach for tracing alpha state transitions and gather traces from real projects as they progress. Uh, number one, a project can set goals based on expectations derived from the assertions and principles discussed earlier. Number two, the effectiveness of meeting goals is determined by tracing the alpha state transitions that occur. All the, Number three, all this uh, answers the question, is the project doing the right thing at the right time? Number four, Certainly, this effectiveness analysis takes precedence over the metrics in reasoning about improvement imperatives. Number five, such results would help projects understand how to distinguish beneficial alpha traces from more seductive anti-patterns. Sequencing alpha states hinges on the effects of incomplete predecessor states on successor states not yet begun or in progress. The rules of construction for tracing alpha state sequencing and reasoning about their stage alignment include the following. Number one, sequence of alpha states is followed with no skipping. Number two, if all predecessor alpha states equal complete, then no risk. Number three, if the predecessor alpha state stage just prior is equal to any incomplete alpha state, then there's risk. If the predecessor alpha stage uh, more than one stage prior equals any incomplete alpha state, uh, then there's a problem. The baseline alpha state stages used in the sequencing of alpha states by stage represent a risk adverse baseline of expectation. A project wishing to make uh, an explicit decision to depart from the baseline may choose to do so by constructing an ad hoc project baseline of alpha states, alpha state stages, and sequences. This departure from the preferred baseline is risk uh, by design and may possess additional built-in risk. In any event, the basic rules of construction governing risk by performance still apply. Clearly a project accepts risk when it begins a successor stage before the predecessor state stage is complete. Just as clearly a project has a problem when it completes a stage before a predecessor stage is complete and adds to its technical debt. Particular alpha, stages, uh, alpha states 
are singled out as major milestones. When the selected milestones appear as incomplete in predecessor stages, uh, these serve as risk triggers in successor stages, not only contributing to technical debt, but also serving as unfulfilled dependencies in downstream tasks. A rough order of magnitude relative cost for each stage indicates that while the early stages generate a smaller proportion of the cost, they comprise commitment, pointing the way, digging in, and major milestones that are necessary to lock in the gains when successive incremental releases are needed to sustain the desired frequency of release. The project kickoff is intended to initiate commitment among stakeholders to the opportunity identified and the conception of requirements. In addition, a team is selected. Chief among these is identifying the opportunity and team selection. Stage one is intended to point the way forward. Here individual stakeholder personnel are identified. The opportunity involves software, the requirements are somewhat bounded, and the software system architecture concept is selected. In addition, the team has been formed and has established a way of working, and work has been initiated. The critical selected milestones revolve around bounded requirements and architecture selection. Stage two entails digging in as a project. Stakeholders are involved. The opportunity value proposition is established. Requirements are coherent. And the software system is demonstrable and feasible. In addition, the team is collaborating. The foundations for the way of working have been established. Uh, the team is prepared to work. The critical selected milestones revolve around opportunity value, coherent requirements, and an established way of working. Stage three entails completing major project milestones. Stakeholders are in agreement. The opportunity is viable. Requirements are acceptable. The software system is considered usable. In addition, the team has performed an initial release. The way of working is in use and work has started. The critical selected milestones revolve around stakeholder agreement, acceptable requirements, uh, the team performing the initial release, and work has started. Stage four entails obtaining stakeholder satisfaction with deployment. The opportunity has been addressed and the software system is ready. In addition, the team has performed incremental releases the way of working is in place, and the work is under control. The, criti uh, the critical selected milestones revolve around stakeholder satisfaction, team performing incremental releases, and work under control. Stage five entails obtaining stakeholder satisfaction in use. The opportunity benefit is accrued. Requirements are fulfilled the team has performed the final release, the way of working is working well, and the work is concluded. The critical selected milestones revolve around stakeholder satisfaction in use. Team has performed the final release, and work is concluded. Project termination entails software system retired, team adjourned, way of working retired and work closed. The critical selected milestone uh, revolves around work closed. Certain, Certain selected, selected milestone states, states serve as indicators, serve as indicators of, project of project success of the 43, of the 43 state, state transitions, transitions in, the tables. in the tables. These uh, 18 19 selected, selected milestones provide, a, provide a critical insight, insight into the health and status of the project. When completion of these when states, completion is, neglected of these states is neglected the outcome or postponed of the project, the outcome uh, of the project is placed is at, at risk. risk. It's placed at risk. The table presents the, table the 18, presents selected, the, uh, 18 states, selected milestone critical, states critical to success, to success on, a project. on a project. How a project chooses to navigate the 43 alpha state transitions of the CMAT essence kernel will determine the success or failure of the project. The care and rigor from which the project reasons about 
predecessor and successor relationships will determine uh, the presence of risks, whether by design or by performance, and whether risks then become problems that defeat the best efforts of the team and its way of working. Systematic rules of construction for tracing out the state sequencing and reasoning about their stage alignment assist in this effectiveness analysis and identifying uh, the selected milestones that serve either as consequential markers of success or as risk triggers that threaten success and lead to the accumulation of technical debt. The best prescription for success is to adhere to the prescriptions set forth in the assertions and principles associated with alpha state checkpoints. By pinpointing the 18 alpha states that provide most that, that prove most consequential as either markers of success or risk triggers that threaten success, the project is able to double down on these selected milestones. Here is my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.